High voltage direct current HVDC is a highly efficient method for transmitting large amounts of electrical power over long distances using direct current DC instead of the conventional alternating current AC. HVDC technology has become essential for modern power transmission systems, particularly when dealing with distances over 600 kilometers. The key characteristic of HVDC is its use of high voltage to transmit electricity as direct current, which allows for fewer energy losses compared to AC transmission. When AC is used over long distances, significant losses occur due to the alternating nature of the current, which causes additional heating and voltage drops. HVDC solves this issue by transmitting power as a steady, non-oscillating current, allowing for more efficient and stable transmission. HVDC systems are particularly useful for connecting renewable energy sources like offshore wind farms to the mainland grid or for transmitting electricity across regions separated by natural barriers like oceans and mountains. HVDC transmission is especially important for stabilizing large interconnected grids. In a world where power generation is becoming more decentralized due to renewable energy sources, HVDC enables the transfer of electricity from regions where renewable power is generated like wind or solar farms to areas, areas where it's needed, without the energy losses and instability issues associated with AC transmission. Additionally, HVDC is often used to link two grids that operate at different frequencies, acting as a bridge between asynchronous power systems. HVDC transmission refers to the process by which electricity is transmitted over long distances using direct current at very high voltages. In an HVDC system, power generated at a power station usually in the form of AC is first converted into DC using a converter station. This direct current is then transmitted through a transmission line or cable to another converter station at the receiving end, where it is converted back into AC for use by consumers. This process is essential because most electrical appliances and local power grids operate on AC, so the electricity must be converted back to AC before it can be used. One of the key advantages of HVDC transmission is its ability to minimize power losses over long distances. In conventional AC systems, energy is lost due to factors like inductive and capacitive reactants, which increase with the length of the transmission line. HVDC eliminates these losses because the current flows uniformly in one direction, making it particularly suited for projects that require long-distance transmission, such as intercontinental power links or underwater cables. HVDC transmission lines can also operate at much higher voltages than AC lines, which further reduces energy losses and allows more power to be transmitted with fewer conductors. HVDC systems consist of several key components that work together to facilitate the transmission of electricity as direct current. Each component plays a critical role in the system's overall efficiency and reliability. Converter stations, these stations are the heart of any HVDC system. The converter station at the sending end converts AC power from the grid into DC using a rectifier. The rectifier is made up of semiconductor devices like thyristors or insulated gate bipolar transistors IGBTs, which allow electricity to flow in one direction, thus converting the alternating current into direct current. At the receiving end, another converter station converts the DC back into AC using an inverter. This process of conversion allows the power to be transmitted as DC while ensuring that it can be used by AC-based systems at the receiving end. These converter stations also contain transformers that step up or step down the voltage as needed. DC transmission lines or cables, the actual transmission of electricity happens through HVDC transmission lines or cables. Overhead HVDC lines are used for land-based transmission, while underground or submarine cables are used in areas where overhead lines are impractical, such as under the ocean or across densely populated regions. These transmission lines are insulated to prevent energy losses, and they carry the direct current from the sending to the receiving end. Smoothing reactors, HVDC systems use smoothing reactors to ensure that the direct current remains as stable and consistent as possible. 
These reactors reduce the ripple in the DC DC current and smooth out any fluctuations, ensuring that the transmission remains efficient. Smoothing reactors also protect the HVDC system from high frequency disturbances, which can cause instability in the transmission line. Filters during the process of converting AC to DC and vice versa, harmonic currents can be generated, which could affect the quality of power being transmitted. Harmonic filters are used to remove these unwanted harmonics from the system, ensuring that the power remains clean and stable throughout the transmission process. Control and protection systems, HVDC systems are highly dependent on sophisticated control systems that monitor and manage the power flow. These control systems regulate the converters, ensuring that power is efficiently transferred between the AC and DC systems. They also monitor for any faults or disruptions and can quickly adjust the system to prevent outages or instability. Protection systems, such as circuit breakers, are also essential in HVDC systems to ensure that any faults can be isolated and corrected without affecting the entire transmission line. Configurations of HVDC systems HVDC systems can be configured in several different ways, depending on the specific requirements of the transmission project. Each configuration has its own advantages and is suited to different types of transmission needs. Monopolar HVDC system. In this configuration, a single conductor is used to carry the direct current, with the return path typically provided by the earth or the sea. Monopolar HVDC systems are often used in the initial stages of HVDC projects or in situations where cost constraints limit the use of more complex configurations. These systems are relatively simple and cost-effective, but may have limited capacity. Bipolar HVDC system. A bipolar system uses two conductors, one positive and one negative. This configuration allows for higher transmission capacity and offers redundancy. If one pole fails, the system can continue operating at reduced capacity by using the other pole and the ground as a return path. Bipolar systems are more efficient than monopolar systems and are commonly used for large-scale HVDC projects. Back-to-back -back HVDC system. This configuration is used for interconnecting two AC grids that are not synchronized or operate at different frequencies. In a back-to-back -back system, the AC power from one grid is converted to DC and then immediately back to AC without the need for a long-distance transmission line. This setup is often used to connect neighboring grids with different operating parameters. Multi-terminal HVDC system, in this configuration, multiple converter stations are connected to the same HVDC transmission line, allowing power to be delivered to or received, received from different locations. Multi-terminal systems are more complex, but offer greater flexibility in terms of power distribution. They are often used in large, interconnected grid systems that span multiple regions. Advantages of HVDC transmission Reduced transmission losses, one of the most significant advantages of HVDC transmission is the reduction in energy losses compared to AC transmission, especially over long distances. AC transmission lines suffer from losses due to inductance, capacitance, and other factors that increase with distance. HVDC eliminates these losses, making it far more efficient for transmitting electricity over long distances, such as cross-country or cross-continental links. Long-distance power transmission, HVDC is the preferred solution for transmitting power over very long distances, particularly in remote areas or for offshore applications. For example, HVDC is used to transmit electricity generated by offshore wind farms to the mainland. The reduced energy losses and higher efficiency of HVDC make it the ideal choice for these types of long-distance transmission projects. Interconnection of asynchronous grids, HVDC is uniquely capable of connecting grids that operate at different frequencies or are not synchronized. This ability makes HVDC an essential technology for international power links, where countries may have different grid standards. By converting AC to DC and then back to AC, HVDC can link two grids without requiring them to operate in sync, improving grid stability and facilitating cross-border energy trade.
Improved power flow control. HVDC systems provide precise control over the amount of power being transmitted, which is critical for grid stability. AC systems are more prone to disturbances and are harder to control, especially over long distances. HVDC systems, however, allow operators to quickly adjust power flow to match demand and prevent overloads or blackouts. Environmental benefits, HVDC transmission lines can be buried underground or installed as submarine cables, reducing their visual and environmental impact. This makes HVDC an attractive option for regions with environmental concerns, as it minimizes the disruption caused by traditional overhead AC lines. HVDC systems also require fewer conductors than AC systems, which further reduces their environmental footprint. Disadvantages of HVDC transmission, high capital costs. One of the main drawbacks of HVDC systems is the high initial cost of installing the necessary infrastructure. The converter stations required to convert AC to DC and back to AC are expensive and complex, making the upfront investment in HVDC higher than that of conventional AC systems. However, these costs are often justified by the long-term efficiency gains for long-distance transmission. Complexity of converter stations. The converter stations used in HVDC systems are more complex than the transformers used in AC transmission. They require sophisticated power electronics and control systems to operate, which increases the complexity of the system and makes it more challenging to maintain. Specialized expertise is often required to manage and maintain HVDC systems. Limited applicability for short distances, HVDC is most efficient for long-distance transmission. For shorter distances, the benefits of HVDC may not outweigh the high initial costs and complexity of the system. In urban and suburban areas, where power needs to be distributed over short distances, AC transmission remains the more practical and cost-effective solution. Energy losses at converter stations. While HVDC transmission reduces line losses, some energy is lost during the process of converting AC to DC and back to AC at the converter stations. These conversion losses, while relatively small, can reduce the overall efficiency of the system, particularly if multiple conversions are required in a multi-terminal HVDC system.